Okay, fooler with another video. Shout outs to the whole LDBC. Um, so this video will be uh, another social video, social issue video. Um, the next video after this will be about the Diamond League. Give a Diamond League preview. I'll probably do end up dropping that tomorrow since the Diamond League coming up basically. Um, so in this video, I kind of want to talk about uh, something that's been like pretty much going on like for a minute now. Um, you know, a lot of conscious people want to say that, like, um, you know, that, that, you know, black people, African people need to stop following this, that, and the other's religion. But at the end of the day, all the religions, for the most part, or I can say all the organized religions take root in Africa um, or have some kind of like origin in that place um, and in the reality in the grand scheme of things um, the supreme creator he made everything uh, I want to say in unity but it's just human beings who uh, created that disunity it's just human beings who basically took something that was pure and made it impure whether they use it for political gain whether they use it for economical gain whether they use it for um, you know military gain no matter what the case is you know, I mean, and this goes across the board anywhere you go in the world, especially in America. You know, I just found out right now that like $56 million was used to, um, by a Christian church to fund, um, like white, um, nationalist groups and anti, uh, minority groups. You know, that's just an example. But what I want to talk about is, um, situation that happened in Saudi Arabia there was uh, one woman Nigerian sister by the name of Zainab who went on the lesser uh, Hajj you know which is called Umrah and then what happened is she got detained and she basically um, was on the verge of probably going to get executed man and another brother, I think, by the name of Ibrahim, he was on the verge of doing the same thing. But with intervention, that um, was prevented from happening, you know. But what I want to say about that is that, like, when it comes to these, like, so-called Arabs, or whatever you want to call them, like, they have no regards for like Africans, like, you know, um, th their regards towards Africans is very, very minute, you know. I want to say that you shouldn't be fooled by them, like, uh, them wearing the cloth, uh, the cloak of Islam, Islamic Brotherhood, when the reality is quite different with them. Um, I mean, there's many stories of Africans who go over there to be domestic servants only to be in situations where they're going to get washed. And what I mean by washed is they're going to get decapitated because they had to kill their owner because um, their owner tried to rape them, their owner uh, took their passport their owner, you know, just did all kinds of abuses to him. And so what I want to say about this situation that just happened with the Zainab sister is, you know, uh, thank God that, you know, she dodged the bullet, you know, because, you know, Saudi Arabia has, like, executed more people 
like this year has been a rise in execution in that place. And the crazy thing is about it is that their judicial system, they say it's based off of like Sharia law, but like uh, they're, they're, I mean, really it's not, I don't want to say, yeah, I can't even call it Sharia law, you know, because I mean, nobody gets a fair share. Like, nobody gets a fair, like, uh, take in a trial, especially if you're African, you know, and, like, they're very strict about, um, you know, at the end of the day, they're, they're, like, some of the biggest hypocrites that, you know, I can just name. At the end of the day, like, they want to, like, execute people for quote unquote bringing drugs into their countries but their own crown princes come to um, Los Angeles and I've seen it with my own eyes even asking for cocaine asking to sniff cocaine asking where they can get some cocaine hell one of them even uh, one brother from Kenya told me one of them invited him over and he um, he said he said, you know, we got to break our fast. And he just whips out a line of coke to do it. You know, and that's why I don't appreciate about them. It's like they have this like double standard where they want to punish people for, but remain unpunished for doing some of the same things or even at times worse. And I also want to like take a jab at the United States for actually supporting this, this uh, foolery. And the, re and the way they support them is by buying this cheap petrol, by uh, trying to build, like make deals over there. I'm pretty sure that Donald Trump wants to build a hotel over there or something like that. You know, that's in the works. That's why he's very friendly with them. You sell them weapons, you know, only for them to use those weapons to uh, trickle down to these, these groups that you say that you're fighting against, you know, you're, you're actually assisting them in, um, in, in, uh, aiding these groups to cause terror in different places. You know, we can say that that attack in Sri Lanka trickles back to Saudi Arabia, uh, funding, you know, but yet, you, you know, the United States government talks about they want to counter and fight terrorism no you don't because if you wanted to fight and counter terrorism you would have um you would have cut ties with saudi arabia you know you wouldn't be trying to attack venezuela last time i checked venezuela didn't export um suicide bombers last time i checked venezuela didn't export people that gunned down um whole places you know that, that's just what i known to not be the case with Venezuela, you know, nah, you guys want to sanction Eritrea, last time I checked, Eritrea didn't have those kind of problems, you know, or didn't export those kind of problems either, you know, and, um, I'm gonna say that, like, I scratched my head because, um, in the original Arabic sources and things like that, um, you find that a majority of the um, of the the figures in in every faith, not just uh, Islam, have uh, would be phenotypically black. You know, you find that a lot, um, even in the symbolism of um, the religion, uh, the black stone. You know. Um, the thing that covers the Kaaba is black. Even the footsteps that the the sister Zainab was following was from a black woman. You know, uh, the whole ritual of the Hajj and the Umrah is from a black woman. They don't like to tell you these things because they try to present this image that oh, we're all one and things like that, but they don't give you the historical accounts of, like, the blackness that's found, because they know that that will, um, give, like, black people a sense of, uh, 
I guess you can say, a sense of esteem for themselves, you know. And so they like to manipulate. No, not not like not any different from how pastors manipulate things and how pastors like funnel money so they can have private jets and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, us Africans, I hate to say it, but, you know, if it, we need to not put any money in their pocket. So if that means like uh, not doing Hodge, so be it, you know, or if that means walking to Hodge, do it that way. But there's been some things that I've said, you know, don't don't put money in their pocket because, you know, that money that you're paying for Hajj and Umrah, that money can go towards killing innocent people. That money may go towards like executing someone who didn't do anything wrong. You know, that's the funny thing. United States want to talk about how they champion human rights, but the the majority of inhuman rights is going on with your the, your so-called friends you know and at the end of the day I just uh, stand on my own too and I say that like that people people will people will be people and unfortunately it's in human nature to be put yourself in a position where you know, you can do, you can do wrong and disguise it as right because that sister Zainab, she didn't have no drugs, but they may, you know, if, if she did get executed, they, they would have said that, oh, they're, they're keeping, um, they're keeping things clean. They're keeping things like out of the, they're keeping all harm's way out of the kingdom, you know, but Yet you guys come to like Monaco, uh, Marbella, Spain, and you guys do what you accuse her of doing, you know, and other Africans. It's just like, it's just, it's just dumb to look at at times, you know, but at the end of the day, um, it's just, you know, it goes across the board. Even in traditional African religion, you now have people who manipulate that to do just to exercise their demons now, you know. I mean, you see it in all walks of spiritual systems, whether you're a hotep, whether you're um, a five percenter, whether you're a more, no matter what, people will use something that is originally supposedly pure to do impure things, you know. And so my advice is to always think for yourself and always listen to your heart when it comes to who you decide that you're going to take from, you know. Because if, you're, if, if your heart is sincere, it's going to lead you to sincerity. But if your heart is insincere and you're doing it for different purposes, then you can only expect that, you know. And that's why I find a lot of the time with with like some people who come into a different faith, like they may come into a faith and they're only coming into faith because they want to fit in. They want to belong, you know, to something, but it doesn't have to do with like character transformation. You know, I find that with, um, like, I hate to mention his name, but with the people who follow the whole Nature Boy carbonation, it has nothing to do with them transforming their characters. It has to do with them just being able to exercise their demons in the name of consciousness. Same with Pol the, the people who follow Polak. It's just a, a means to, like, exercise, not transform themselves to become better but it's just a means to look better while still doing the same shady shit that they claim that they're against and I know I've gathered a lot of enemies for speaking like this but at the end of the day I stand on my own too and I'm not afraid of the consequences that come with it you know 
because I'd rather like I'd rather do this than be just a, a okie doke guy. Leave your thoughts in your comments and um, this is Fuller signing out. Majado.